China's debt to GDP ratio is at 297% and, and rising rapidly. And just as a point of comparison, the US debt to GDP ratio was something like 255% and has been declining in recent years. And certainly you would not brag about America's ability to manage its debt here. And so it just kind of puts China's issue in perspective. And I think it touches on an issue where I have a different uh, view than, than Professor Jun on the, the structure of the economy. So I don't see it as a purely economically decentralized system. Basically, my understanding is that the central government will set targets or set goals like we want X market share or X number of patents, and we certainly want high growth. And then local governments basically have leeway, but have to basically figure it out. And they often have to find a way to pay for it. And so they either raise revenue through land sales to property developers, but land is finite. And so increasingly in the last decade, they've been raising massive amounts of debt to just have all of these massive infrastructure projects so they can please the higher ups in Beijing and work their way up the Chinese Communist Party. And that just leads to a short term focus on maximizing GDP growth, building bridges that are underutilized and not in investing in the welfare of the Chinese people. And, and this is why local government debt alone is estimated by Goldman Sachs to be about $23 trillion, which is larger than China's entire economy. It's been soaring at 16% a year for the last four to five years. That's that's four times faster than the growth of the economy. And 90% of the, the state-owned enterprises are in a debt trap where they're basically taking out loans to pay the interest on their existing loans. So it just seems like a horribly wasteful system, but it's also one that's hard to shift from because of the political factors uh, that I mentioned earlier, that there are these powerful vested interests. And I haven't seen any evidence that the state is willing to take those on and fundamentally reform uh, the economy. 